Wicked has been a huge Broadway musical hit for 16 years. Tonight, our critic at large, Greg Moody, reaches deep into the past and shows us what sparked the author to create this story. When author Gregory Maguire first had the idea for Wicked back in the 90s, he started with a question, who were these characters we all knew so well? What was their story, and was there more to it? Why in Oz, for instance, can the cowardly lion speak and sing and dance, but the flying monkeys can't? Uh, why does nobody seem to pay attention to the fact that their leader is lying to them <laughs> consistently and is never answerable? What's going on there? During Wicked's first visit to Denver in 2005, McGuire told me the idea had overcome him, just as it has overcome audiences since it hit Broadway in 2003. And there was nothing like seeing his idea come alive on stage. To walk into the theater the first night that Wicked was open for public viewing by people who were actually going to pay for their seats was the most electrifying professional moment of my life. Which is what still thrills audiences to this very day, 16 years after its Broadway premiere on its sixth visit to Denver. It's still a big, lush Broadway mega musical that captures not only the audience, but its very creators as well. Such is the power of one great idea. I'm critic at large Greg Moody, covering Colorado first. Greg, fun to hear how it all started. The Broadway mega musical Wicked, now on stage at the Buell, runs through June 9th. What a show. For tickets, go to our website, cbsdenver.com.